Um, I don't have a uh, knight online in Quake. Knight uh, OC you're after. Oh, knight OC. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so this will be uh, Division 1. Um, let's see. Division 1 is... And Division 2, you had to qualify for, right? Uh, that is correct, yes. Last weekend, we're qualifiers. There were six invites that went out to Division 1 players, uh, which were people like the legendary players, you know, the Dan, um, Python, they both got invited. Uh, Pinky, Mike. Uh, but then, yeah, everyone else, the other six spots, all qualified for. And then everyone else was in Division 2. But this matchup here with Red Oxide and Knight, we have up next. Uh, both relatively new players again, but have really quickly have been grinding really hard, become extraordinarily good players. Uh, Red, he's been playing NA Challenges, Red Oxide. So some of you may have seen him there. Uh, he's been grinding hard to get into Div 1. Uh, and basically, Red, he's just an all, all round. He's got very solid combat, really good movement, been grinding the defrag. So you'll have some really good movement from him. Uh, unfortunately, we're not seeing an Anarchy from him today, but I've seen this Anarchy before and it is something special. Uh, but other than that, sort of medium champs, I think, is where he'll feel most comfortable. Uh, Knight, same deal again. He's been a Division 1 player since 2018, uh, back when he started, pretty much. Uh, back at OQS, which is our sort of prior tourneys that we've done. Again, Quake Champs has been his first Quake game that he's played. Um, he's a slash as for clutch player again unfortunately i don't think we're seeing him on either of those today no no clutch has been chosen but we do have him on strong so we'll look out for some good movement there nice, nice. wasn't there a video of knight where he was playing with like 174 centimeter per 360 at some point i think I knight was that. yeah sorry a very very low sensitivity player yeah. I believe he has upped it now slightly, but it's still on the, definitely on the slower side. I don't know how he does it, but I mean, he made it work, and he could hit some really good LG. Oh yeah, so let's. I'm curious uh... to see that, to be honest. And if I, if I'm uh, like with the information you provided us, we are not seeing the most picked map, the two most most picked maps out of the qualifiers in the series at all. Like none of the top three. Most popular maps from the qualifiers are present in this series. And... So I think a lot of these players are trying to mix it up a bit, trying to get... So I, it's a very... Like, Awoken is a very common pick. Um, uh, CK is quite common. I believe we are seeing that as our third map. If we get to that. But yeah, Veil, uh, Deep Embrace, not quite as common. And I reckon they're both trying to... Sort of throw the other one... Sort of throw them out of comfort zone a little bit here. Yeah, so we start off with Phil, Nath, Redux side on Eisen, and uh, Knights on the queue. So, I think yeah. for this map, it's going to be sort of how Knight, I reckon he'll be out here. He needs to be able to use his nades on heal effectively against this turret. He can do that big, do a very quick burst damage with the rocket nade combo to take out the turret. So, I think he might have the upper hand here on the, on the champ pick. Yeah, like, and especially like taking 50% less splash damage on uh, Veil comes in handy as well. Like, you, you basically you take less damage going through the teleporter or picking up rockets or uh, maybe even dropping to rail after spawning on, on the light down there. There's uh, so many advantages having that. Yeah, the passive of kill is just useful on this map in general. And Kiel is really, really powerful. But so is Aizen. Should be a good one. Yeah, we're in for a blast, to be honest. Yeah, looking forward to uh, a Division 1 game. We had some uh, heavy rocket action. Let's see uh, if... Uh what weapons uh, these are going to use i'll uh, leave you to uh, to this one uh, oh, watch you. it from the sideline have fun boys
Thanks. Yeah, Knight Picked Veil. I like Knight's Champ on that map a little bit more as well. So I'm be I'm going to say he's gonna take the the, the peanut map. Uh, well, and he's looking blue and red like cool weapon shaders as well. So he's got he's got it. I'm I'm sure. And I'm gonna start out on him as well. I'm gonna go with the egg boy as well, so that at least one of us is right. <laughs> Round begins in yeah, to, to show how much confidence I have in Knight, I'm gonna uh, predict a little bit. Let's start on Knight as well. Who's getting the heavy spawn? And I'm not quite sure if that's the best spawn What's you can get on this map. Yeah, rail is a good, good choice. But Red Oxide is delaying his pickup. If he delays it more, Knight will be able to... He oh no, he didn't even delay it. Scratch what I said, I'm blind. So, yeah. <laughs> Knight now is having... Rockets and rail, and he's in the best position you can have. He's just trying to deal some damage at a beautiful angle there from, from Knight. Hitting important damage, and this means he should be able to contest or at least punish the Mega. And there we go, rail hit as well. Oh, rail, oh no! Not jump pad. Unfortunately, Unfortunately to me. Yeah, Tob Tobias was saving his skin there. Oh, he misses the pineapple on the top. Oh, the pillar is saving him. And Red Oxide is worse for wear. He's close to death, and if he drops another great rail from Knight, who's just... Yeah, making that weapon worth for him a thousand times. That's a huge start for him. Giving up that item without any damage is not too bad. Stacks are still in, in his favor, and he should be able to set up for it next time, because he's running out of rails as well. The lightning gun is might be enough. No, Red Oxide hits a great rocket, oh! but the last rail puts the nail in the coffin of Red Oxide what right a there. Play. He should have never gotten the frag. Like they said, he's on one HP after tanking another one. What the hell is this? Red Oxide must be thinking, oh, come on, dude, this can't be. It. Like, how? Gotta be thinking that Knight has got infinite HP. Yeah, fucking cheater. Oh, jokes oh, aside. Think it's the area. Thinks Knight is not up there. Uh, and oh, a knight like... breathes a huge sigh of relief. I mean, he had no weapons apart from the shotgun for that situation as well. He had no rail ammunition, no lightning gun ammunition, basically one rocket. There we go. If he would have hit that rail, I would probably would have shut my pants, but fortunately he didn't. Because, well, then it's, it's, it's odd. So, <clears throat> Red Oxide now is in the control, but he's still hunting the frags and knight is... <gasps> Doing such a good job of not giving him too many sound cues, or sometimes even no sound cues at all. I really like Knight's Another time he's giving too many sound cues for him to digest. Oh, what a play. Fake rocket jump staying here at the, um, at the jump pad. Oh, Red Oxide misses rail, the Still Knight playing out of control. Doing just a fantastic job. Impressive. Keeping Red Oxide at bay. Now he's overstacking him. Not anymore with this rail. Oh no, Red Oxide, if he had the rail out, he would have killed Knight before he can pick up the, the light armor, but now the tables have turned completely. Knight hits the rail himself and now... Oh, great grenade jump. <laughs> yeah. Accidental, I'm sure. But, uh, fantastic Let's just give him the benef benefit of the dog right now. Yeah, no, totally on purpose. And the member of the Blue Man group is actually just, yeah, out of nothing gains the control back. He's a little bit low on ammunition, but not too low to, yeah, needing to vacate the area. And he even Ooh, finds Red Oxide, but Red rocket. Oxide answers with great rockets there. And now he's in a good position. He could challenge the heavy, but he mistimes the items. I think he might have turned it around or he just wants to solidify his position on the Mega. And says he has no armor, so him having the heavy is not as bad. I'll rather take the mega safely. Who knows? Oh, what am I watching? What is this? I didn't know he could uh, get in this position. He's, he checked it, he but he still didn't it. see him. Oh, the, these guys have done this before, I can tell you. Yeah. One more rail. At that moment, could have net the first frag in, into Red Oxide's side of the scoreboard, but 
You made it through, and you made it through the Mega without taking any damage, and it fires back with a Grey Rail himself. He does not need to force anything here, but letting Knight get away with little to no stack time and time again in the end can come back to haunt him if he dies here, but no, Red Oxide still picks it up clean, and we literally have a matchup of Red against Blue. Like, literally. <laughs> Everything on Red Oxide. I'm glad Knight is Arsenal is that. red, and yeah, Knight has everything in blue, so Five minutes we've got that going. I love it. Color schemes, perfect. Good play from Red Oxide there. Not taking too much damage. Hitting the red would have been perfect, but not really too necessary, I think. Oh, that rocket just just gave him a new haircut. Holy crap, man! That whiffed by his head just an inch and... Oh, Knight a little bit too far away for Red Oxide to deal damage. Yeah, Knight is just like... Take the heavy, I'm, I'm fine with that. I still have a one frag lead and I have a good position, so I don't care. But maybe he cares that's now. starting rail? Yeah. Yeah, now Red Oxide, the one out stacking. It feels like, I mean, no, I'm not, not trying to say that Knight is not moving, but Knight manages to position himself in a way that Red Oxide is running circles around him, it feels like, because Red Oxide sometimes seems to have such a hard time to find him, and when he does, it's always a trade. And, like, he either yeah, trades no. position for an item or something, or even Ooh, the item itself. What, what I noticed about uh, Knight's positioning also is that uh, it doesn't move around a lot, uh, he is always where he needs to be. And even when he was on the escape from uh, from Red Oxide, uh, he was uh, walking a lot. Red Oxide now in hot water. Yeah, I was gonna say, drop the chimney. Poison as I say that. <laughs> I mean, you can't kind of call an acid hot. Who knows? Anyway. Knight is still in firm control of this map with his stack advantage he has. Oh, the rail shot would have been so important denying Knight that push, but the defensive rockets actually deal a great amount of damage itself, and oh, Red Oxide honestly is not, like, being outstacked at the moment. He's looking very healthy, and if he can get in position, he can punish Knight's lesser stack considering the wider hitbox, but no, he can't, and Knight just cuts off his way to the heavy as well, and now Knight it's just gonna go up and take the mega, but Timmy, or Tobias in this case, I'm sorry, is actually enough distraction for Red Oxide to pick it up and keep the state of shared control a little bit longer. Yeah, but uh, Knight with the uh, great combat uh, movement, unfortunately takes Red Oxide by surprise. Oh. You have a shoddy from Knight. That was so Don't close, Don't to save Red Oxide there. Uh, I mean, even the profile icons, like the in-game, in are red and blue, so it's it's <laughs> perfect. I, yeah, if, if Red Oxide is, was quick enough to pull out the railgun there, I think he gets the frag despite dying, but he kind of answers quickly after his respawn, picking up a mega and pushing down, or hunting down Knight, rather. Will he get hit? No. This is so dangerous what what Red Oxide is doing. He's just trying to deal as much damage as he can, but just look, it didn't really matter at all. And now he gave up a frag and is facing a insanely stacked knight and knight just Yeah, deals so much damage again. Red Oxide can't even fight anymore. And now it's 90 seconds left, a little bit less even. And Red Oxide needs to find two frags. Knight is gonna spawn with 200 stack already. Good start still. But, yeah, he's in the position for the wrong item. It's not gonna spawn, and there we go, 70 damage rocket! The Knight will find him again. At this point, it's going to be a, a, yeah, a small miracle if, if Red Oxide manages to come back here. Great lightning gun, though, just as I say, miracle! But the flick rail in the end, after the teleport, I think that puts the nail in the coffin. Yeah, I don't think the Vatican is, is gonna... I don't think the Vatican is going to confirm this one. Yeah, but uh, good play from Knight so far. 
now even dealing with all of this uh, damage from far away. But players extremely low. They miss the the, the trade rail. Already uh, risky from night. He had no to do HP. Nothing left. If he had HP, like he needed to find him again and kill him, but he, at eleven. Like no, there was no oh, way nice he was pineapple. gonna get another frag. Yeah, that pineapple is just adding insult to injury there. There's no way that another frag is going to happen and Knight takes this map. It was kind of controlled, even though the scoreline is not that like big between them because it felt like a super defensive match. But yeah, Knight, Knight just rotated so well, and his positional game, and especially his railgun, was so on point. Yeah, Knight played extremely well. Oh, Knight up on nothing. Gonna have Deep Embrace next. Yep. So Vale was Knight's map pick, so now moving on to Red Oxide. Yeah, that's uh, it's but gonna Knight be interesting to see. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see the reaction. I've got to say, Strog is probably my favorite pick for Deep Embrace. So I, I might be able, like, I could see Knight taking this 2-0, but on the other hand, there's a reason that Red Oxide picked Deep Embrace, right? So. Well, I'm gonna sit this one out and watch Team Red fight literally Team Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that, that they are so consistent with their color scheme. <laughs> we are going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to say Red Oxide is still going to take it because two guns are more fun. <laughs> two guns are always better than one. Yeah. They also burn through ammo faster, but we don't care about that. <laughs> But I do think, like, with the levels in this uh, level, haha, <laughs> like, uh, there, there is enough leeway to escape the dual wielding Blaskovich. Um, but in terms of passive, um, like the 25 health regen is comparable with um, Destroyant. Uh, so they, they match in the health department. But yeah, the speed of uh, Strock, it it paid so much dividends in the last uh, series we had on Awoken. So he will sp outspeed uh, the BJ by quite large margin. But uh, let's jump in. Round begins in three, two, one. Put on Fight. your fancy shoes. I'm gonna introduce you to your maker. Yeah, all right. So red oxide on the heavy gets uh, get him immediately, but so this knight uh, with his mega. Oh, we see an LG versus rail fight. This is looking good for knight. He did it to rail early on, and now we see the double weaponry. Oh, knight pulling up the peeker, but eats a rail. Both players quite low now. Knight gets himself on the white armor. Uh, both items should spawn in a second now. Oh, Red Oxide is gonna make his way towards Heavy. Knight dangerously goes in through the middle of the map. But gets his item, so no harm, no foul for him. But eats a direct on the way to the middle of the map. Doesn't have the rail yet and is railable himself. First and blood. that's first frag for Red Oxide. Yeah, well, uh, the items are far away, so Knight could do some damage in between. But yeah, he's uh, just spawned. Needs. Oh, he gets the LG, so he can do some damage on uh, to Red Oxide. And he will get the heavy. Well, Red Oxide uh, got the Mega Health, but he also uh, ate a rail for his troubles. Oh, now it basically gets straight at. No, it's. A two for one. But the rockets from uh, Redux side. Now they're both raidable and uh, Knight releases uh, the winning blow. Fantastic round. play from Knight. Yeah, ties it up. And now there is some time between the both items, but uh, Knight decides to collect. 
the tools you need for a fight. While some extra delay is added by uh, Red Oxide to the heavy. And now no one wants to fight. Oh, but there is a trap with the LG. Red Oxide uh, does escape it. Yeah, now yeah, no, both players. Uh, I'm a bit of a shared control situation, but uh, Knight in perfect position to get that heavy. Uh, Red Oxide will deal damage. Yeah, so even if he got both items, he gets nothing out of it stack wise because uh, Red Oxide just, uh, yeah, he hit yeah. the perfect reel after it. At least, at least he keeps Red Oxide away from the items, so. Uh, we are again in a shared control uh, position. Good damage from Red Oxide, and now Knight's gotta be careful. This is some high level dueling uh, we are seeing here. Oh I, I, yeah, it's. Oh, no, but the trap with the dual LG, but it's actually oh, uh, the damage. rockets. That does great damage in return from Knight. No item spawning uh, for 10 seconds. So, yeah, who's overstaying his welcome in the line of sight of the enemy? Red Excite is the one who gets an item first. Ah, oh, and he, he gets Knight really low. Yeah, Knight is an escape master, but is he able to do this uh, on Deep Embrace? It's so much more difficult than on Vilfnath. And yeah, Red Excite. Well, you got your answer right there. True. Yeah, and look at the stack. No. He, he, Red Excite has so much stack left. Yeah, he basically the... gets uh, two frags uh, because of the situation he created the for the himself. Price of one, yeah. Yeah, maybe a third if uh, Knight isn't able to do uh, damage out of control right now. Because he, yeah, he can't fight for this heavy. Yeah, this is a fat BJ. Oh, the Ooh, trap! The LG and he catches him! Knight doesn't have a chance. He deals some damage. And there's still a while until the items spawn. Oh, oh no, God, he's dead off. again. Someone Look at this. Yeah. Yourself, yeah, as soon as he missed that rail, he should just, just uh, get the F out. Oh, but, uh, the, oh. <laughs> the shotgun. Completely out of the blue. <laughs> it was a super shotgun. And against the grain of play. <laughs> it works always. Yeah. Just add. Uh, oh, well, close to the trail, but the uh, hits. Both of them. But that is also like the speed comes into play, right? You can just slide yourself into your opponent's face with the super shotgun and uh, release a full on blast on his face. Five minute walk. Yeah, or the rockets, uh, as it was in this case. Oh, Red Oxide ignoring the peeker. Oh, but he gets I'm trapped okay. with the rocket. At least he's not railable anymore, Red Oxide. Uh, of knights uh, holding middle ground now, trying to mount his comeback. Still plenty of time for him to make something. That's yeah, still four and a half minutes to go. Heavy is up next, but look at this. Uh, the mecha half uh, stood there for a while. So now there's only uh, five seconds split on the items. And Red Oxide went from being almost dead to in a very good position in a few seconds. So, and he's in the lead, so he will be uh, not really looking for a fight unless he sees an opening. And he got one. Two rockets. That's yeah, enough. Yeah, but Knight is still on a good enough condition where... Uh, yeah. He can fight for things. Oh, he uh, gets the mech elf in the process, but he does not have any armor anymore. And that Brill, it's an opening for Knight. Oh, and another rail! Knight is so close to getting a frag here. Not anymore, not with uh, BJ's passive kicking in. Yeah, and the control Even has better shifted. Even better than Australian sometimes. Like, none of the players are uh, reaching critical mass because they do just great damage out of control. They. Yeah, they got a combined 1800 rail damage. Uh, 
which for almost seven minutes is really good. Yeah, but now Knight is the one running around with control. Ah, oh, catches Red Oxide looking the other way. Should be a frag here. Knight keeps his overstack. Oh, just get the rail off spawn. We'll not lose the mega at least. Uh, a clean lightning gun pickup. Red pick Oxide up. drops down. Oh, but... Or Red Oxide. Should be another frag. And the two frag came. Knight, Knight restacks on the um, on lightning gun cells. Yeah, two and a half minutes to go. This is enough time, especially on Deep Embrace. And he's shielding the pathway to the heavy. It doesn't do a lot of damage uh, on the rail pickup, though. And now he's caught with his pants down. Ah. Uh, yeah, Redux Side is still isn't that healthy either. So he uh, decides to uh, get some poverty items. But uh, yeah, it's Knight who will lose out on the mega health. Is he going to do some damage on the pickup? No, Redux Side uh, goes to the lower grounds. Yeah, Knight already with a ton of armor. And uh, now with a couple of bubbles. Should we stack enough to make that armor count? Red Oxide uh, in a decent position. Just starts to drop down, try to shop for a light. There are none to be had. Oh, the big show. <laughs> it's get shut off the sky. But uh, it's uh, the mega health for Knight. And... Yeah, he's on a warpath, right? Yeah, and he's gonna try to fight for the heavy uh, a little bit too late. Yeah, but Redux side needed it to stack back up, so he does not uh, have much overstack or uh, not anymore. <laughs> None whatsoever. Oh, Knight close to being railed. Uh, now, yeah. a little bit better after the light armor, even though he got damaged. Oh, Red Oxide is the ball rail. Misses some shots. Oh, the string of lightning is huge, but uh, he isn't able to connect the P card. That would have been a life or a line into the next track and maybe tie it up after. But, uh, I'm trying to get a, a frag as clean as he can. To string uh, another one together as he needs in time. Starting to matter. Red Oxide playing a perfect defensive game. And now even out stacking Knight by a while, by a lot. Oh, no. Oh, double weapons from Red Oxide, 20 seconds. Our rockets from below don't connect. Uh, Red Oxide holding the upper ground and Knight having to do something. Most of the risky move and loses. Yeah, yeah so. and Red Oxide uh, gets the win. Tying the series up at uh, one apiece. Yeah, so we're getting our money worth. Oh, we absolutely are. We we <laughs> we paid three ninety nine for these games, so <laughs> we're getting <laughs> I was, was going to say, how much did you pay, Rob? <laughs> yeah. Because I got my entrance for free. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, but it was a great map, to be honest, and <coughs> just like on Veil, the controls seemed equal, but yeah, the player who picked the map just rotated better. Ooh, I need to drink something. Yeah, so we move on uh, to Corrupted Keep, where we have uh, Galena versus Death Knight. Oh, I like the Galena so much more, to be honest. Like, just from the matchup side, I, I prefer the Galena. So I'm gonna... Yeah, it's, it's a tough one to call, to be honest. I'm not so sure. Well, both are ready. Let's go. Yeah, let's and, go. And uh, both of them oh, are really good in the map. <laughs> and Red has, has this one in purple. Now he's, he's breaking the entire scheme. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, get this man out of the league. It could have been so perfect, <laughs> but no. And him immediately. <laughs> All right, I'll leave this one up to you. Thanks. Uh, have yeah. a good one, boys. And, uh, and despite being games. heartbroken, Rob, I'm also very excited for this map. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be very exciting. I think 
Galena, as well as the Death Knight, is a very great pick on, on uh, Corrupted Keep. And the way they have been playing, a more tactical approach to this map, we have seen it from time and time again in the QPL as well. Those matches are very interesting to watch, and I'm really looking forward if that's going to happen as well, because uh, they did not <laughs> seem like the most aggressive... Uh, True, it's it's either uh, <laughs> but <Plus> the <laughs> you know how this is being played in the uh, in the EU right now, right? This is just uh, plus forward, plus forward uh, until one of the players gets the full rotation. Prepare so the more reflex, the better. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, let's see well, how the Aussies uh, are playing this one. Two, yeah, one. I'm gonna start with Fight. the purple Galena on red oxide. And um, yeah, Mega drops the totem right beforehand. Oh, and I like the decision to not go aggressively towards the rocket launcher and gamble that the other light is up. Controlling that area of the map can mean that he can control the distance that uh, Knight has been able to approach to him. Uh, first damage is from Knight though. But Knight can't pick up any armor, so it doesn't really do anything for him. And and uh, a red oxide is just like yeah, I'm 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 pretty pretty happy with my position. And now he knows that his, this item is delayed. If Knight is going through the teleporter, red oxide would have somewhat of even the exact timing. But fortunately, Knight did not do it. But Knight's rocket are doing so much work, to be honest. Even on the long range, the prediction shots. Oh as Red Oxide puts up a candle in the red room. Oh, is that a cheeky totem? Or uh, did it just hit the ground? Oh, the fire strike. Look at this. He's only oh, with 40 no. health. Oh, but he's not in time to uh, do something about the heavy pickup. Yeah. And Purple Oxide falls to Knight's rocket. Like, he has been doing so much damage with that gun. There we go. That totem is finally removed. And we have seen... Yeah, with the wall hacker that the spectator has, it's literally a candle on the wall, so... Ooh. We have to spot it out, at, uh, if we get some down downtime. Yes, here it is. Is he seeing it? Someone has lightning on high, yes. <laughs> yes, a cheeky totem. There we go, it's gone, but uh, the heavy is also gone. Knight did take the mega half though. Yeah, and I think Red Oxide having the high ground was kind of happy trading the items there because, on the other hand, he might as well should not have taken any item. And I think the the totem delayed Knight long enough for Red Oxide to take it safely. As I say safely, Knight's lightning gun removes all of Red Oxide's stack at 4 HP! Yeah. Well, something <laughs> is what's left after the shotgun blast of Knight who rocket jumps... Oh, but he gets the heavy, and he can no go to, to his totem, right? No, he goes to the mega elf. Wow! <laughs> That's cocky, but yeah, I mean, he knows that he's faster through the teleporter than Knight wow. is from the banana, what and Knight play. is angry. I mean, understandable, <laughs> right? Oh, you yeah, well, well. Yeah, you, had the, you heard the grunt of uh, <laughs> Death Knight. 10 HP or less. And you lose both items? Like he's That's already like... dead and then also losing out <laughs> while, <laughs> while you had your opponent low? Oh. Uh, the sun isn't shining for him. No. And again, uh, losing out on uh, a rotation. He does have the lead though. So And a fire strike ready to uh, lay a trap. Oh, is he gonna Beautiful. get it? Yes! Oh, but the totem, he, if he spots... No. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, but he could still fall into this one. Uh, no. Uh, lightning on high is just such a life change for the autumns. Yeah. Nothing going on, guys. Just ordinary day of the week. Oh, that rocket was actually huge from Red Oxide. It almost hit. The slight miss still means he gets the Mega because of his position. Oh, no. Oh, what a great read from Knight that he's turning around and not going up their bounce pad. Denying Red Oxide the light armor. And he's basically dead. Now it's seven seconds. Don't let you uh, let get both item yoinked again. Just give him the light. Just give him the light. Yes. Yeah, he gets it. <laughs> and he himself gets the heavy. Uh, well, oh, he's... He, he knows where he is. Yeah, yeah. well, Red, Red Oxide oh, just... Red Oxide goes yeah. for the same route twice Indeed. in a row. Yeah, the double back into the lightning gun. <laughs> Never a nice thing to do. And he gets zopped away by knights. 
Yeah, I think Knight yeah. is playing a great game. Like, he's being out of control for a large part uh, low again, but he's just uh, the escape ninja. And uh, now he's back in the rotation. And while he was out of control and low, Red Excite was not able to get a frag on the board. And he sets. The grunting of Galena <laughs> while she's slowly burning and... Uh... Yeah, Knight is just controlling this super convincingly, it seems like. There was a time where I would have thought this is kind of shared, and the items still say that, but for the past few minutes, Knight is controlling the position as well as the items so well. Always oh, cutting down Red Oxide's second. Red Oxide is trying to yoink the Mega again, and he this time he gets away with it, and he gets even a light. How can you just like do stuff and not be punished like yeah red excite is getting the damage out some items but uh <laughs> he's lacking in the frags <laughs> but it's also the play yeah how knight is playing and because knight is not breaking his color scheme <laughs> it's punishment yeah. It's Karma, oh, all the Hondo. A... Holy fuck! I mean, he's still in the second advantage. Oh, but uh, Knight is uh, with five health. Uh, but yeah, uh, Redux side never gets a frag, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Well, I I'm gonna give Redux side some uh, screen time. Maybe uh, we can uh, get some force into him. He gets uh, both items. And there's more than enough time. And the Galena, once she gets like control and uh, some totems going, like she can basically just run around the map and hunt you down, knowing that she's ha having like 150 spare HP to fall back on if she needs to. Now Knight is low again, but the Flame Strike actually defends uh, his position well enough so Red Oxide can't close the distance. And now he's, yeah, drive buying again. Knight is still alive. And now the weapon advantage of the HMG. Oh, and look, he's waiting out the corner with the rockets. <laughs> the cheeky boy. How did oh. this one miss? And finally a frag, <laughs> but that was hell expensive. And there's no totem fortress. Yeah. And like where you can fall back to. True, and the items are also far away. Yeah, and, uh, look at this. He has the fire strike. Oh, but the defensive rockets from Red Oxide is amazing. He would... Good. Do some damage on the Mega Health. Yeah, he does. He, he. he was a little bit reluctant to move to the area, but uh, in the end, he did. Oh, yeah. Denying that light is huge. Now he just needs to go to the high ground and make sure that he knows where Knight is going to be. <laughs> but look, <laughs> Knight isn't even moving. Like, yeah, if you if you don't move, your your movement can't be predicted. So. Your opponent <laughs> can't see you, right? Because your opponent is a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of bad jokes. Now he knows where his opponent is, and now he should be pushing in. Use the totem to reheal now. Oh, Perfect the flame timing, strike. But yeah, Knight's stack is so huge after that trap. And that's it for that fight. True. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's just the delay of the inevitable. Uh, he did steal uh, the heavy, but he's not able to do anything on the Mega Health pickup. Yeah, I think uh, this map is on lockdown right now. Redoxite might get another frag, but I do think uh, Knight is just uh, playing so well of... Uh... Oh yeah, he is out of control play. Like, <laughs> Redoxite gets the heavy, but then he walks into so much LG. Like, I think if you get a major item, you can whistle for a bit, but uh, <laughs> then it's game time. But he just walks around without a care in the world while yeah, there is an opponent on the map that wants to damage you. Oh my god, that's actually... It looked so promising for Redox, but he never could 
Oh, never did close the gap and closed out any of these frags and not doing that made a 4 to 1 scoreline evolve into a 10 to 1 scoreline. And if you're the one, that's kind of shitty. <laughs> Oh, but uh, they both provided some great entertainment. It was uh, some high-level play. Especially Deep Embrace, it's nice to see that the, the players uh, are able to uh, evade fights uh, more and more on that map. Yeah, it adds another layer to it, right? True. But this one is uh, hugely in the knight's favor. GG's. Knight takes this one. Two to one. Huh? I could have like seen uh, just from the pick that the Galena would actually have a, has, uh, would have a good chance of taking this. <laughs> True. But... Yeah, let's uh, take a minute, or uh, let's take two minutes. I need to refresh uh, my uh, drink and then uh, jump into the next one. Yeah, so, great. See you guys in uh, two minutes.